Yo, man, we've been friends for a while now. You wanna grab a bite or something? I'd love to, but I got some shit going on just now. Okay, man. I know you got a lot of shit on. Call me when you got time for your friends. factory off of August Street. One lesson I've learned, Nico. Assume everyone knows everything. Somehow, Chubby Charlie Mateo has found out it was us who ripped off the Russian coke. He is about to take a chopper into Algonquin to share that knowledge with the commission. You want me to take this fat man out before that happens? If you don't, then it'll be the Pecorinos going to the mattresses with every one of the Liberty City families. Not only is we gonna be looking over our shoulders every two seconds, but we ain't gonna be able to earn. Well, I'll do my best to shut him up then. Great, I gotta go get noticed so I ain't a suspect. Now, the way I seize it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. Eat her! 
of metal. You win. Not so confident now, asshole. Fucking bastard. Fuck you. Even if you take me out. Hey, God, he comes off your fucking head. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and... I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. <laughs> 
It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy if the Fed show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. The feds love this speed. We sell quality weapons, and we know how to use them. I'm sorry. Stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. Here's the nasty garbage you ordered. Thanks for coming in the burger shot. There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. 
I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! The fucking cop! Trunk and follow me. I got a vi You're going down. Hustle, Nico. Move it, move it, move it. Hurry this shit up. We got more uh -huh. company.
got three units from Acta. Shit, I ain't made for this sort of stress. Can we lose the heat already? It's a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. I don't think I can take much more of this. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pin for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys. Shit. I'm sorry. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. This fast? Stash the stuff with the cops on our backs. Lose them. Gets harder every time. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Nico, I got a grieving mother to look after. I don't want to worry about you not kidnapping some Guido bitch like you've been asked to do. Hey, back. I had other stuff to do. I'll get on it, all right? I'll speak to you soon. I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man to drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist a bargain.
You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. Gracie, why are you selling this car? Seems pretty good. Let's just say that me and the LCPD have had a few disagreements about blood alcohol levels. How's a girl meant to get back to Albany after a big night out in Algonquin if she's not drunk driving? She could stay sober. You sound like my dad. Anyway, you clearly have not been... Most girls aren't as good with a stick shift as I am. There's no such thing as sober in that place. No fucking way. If I stick to booze, it's a miracle. I couldn't get in at first, but now that I know Tony, it isn't a problem. You should come down one night. I don't know if it would be my scene. I'll tell everyone you're a big Russian oil guy or an arms dealer. We'll get fucked up in the love room. Before you know it, you'll have your roof, table service, a whole scene. We'll see. I'm not after the car. I'm after you. I mean this is a kidnapping. Control yourself, remain calm, and you might just walk away from this with your life. Oh my fucking god, you fucking pervert! I'm dialing my daddy. He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without the phone. Such a fucking bitch! Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. I am not just letting you take me! Yes, you are! What the hell? I think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. <laughs> 